The Anomalert Motor Defect Simulator provides electrical and mechanical fault simulator functions to demonstrate the capabilities of Anomalert for training purposes. The simulator is flexible, robust and cost effective as it is based on advanced hardware and professional design. It is a handy, easy to use simulator which is useful in the training of personnel in the operation of Anomalert and the use of Anomalert in diagnosing machine anomalies. The Anomalert Motor Defect Simulator contains all the hardware necessary to simulate an operating environment for the test motor. The Pro version contains an industrial PC that runs the Anomalert server software so that the Anomalert unit can be interrogated anywhere in the world with an internet connection. On the lower half of the panel, we have the controls necessary for introducing simulated faults on the test motor. We have also included some indicators to indicate current per phase and phase voltages. Along here are the push buttons for introducing electrical faults. We can introduce a turn fault on either U, V or W phase simply by pushing the simulate start button on the corresponding phase. Resetting is as simple as pushing the normal state push button. We can also introduce earth faults. At the flick of a switch, an earth fault is introduced into the test motor state of winding. There are two levels of earth fault, fault 1 and fault 2. These simulate higher impedance faults and lower impedance faults respectively. The test points at the bottom of the unit are used for connecting external measuring equipment so that the faults and their nature can be independently monitored with test instruments and the outputs of Anomalert verified. This is the test motor. As we can see, the test motor is a small 3 phase 180 watt induction motor. This motor has been rewound with a number of extra taps in the stator winding so that the stator earth and turn to turn faults can be simulated. The motor is coupled to a hysteresis brake. The hysteresis brake is used to simulate a load. It is controlled by an electronic controller so that the precise load profiles can be simulated. The next section of the video will cover the Anomalert software. This is the overview page. It provides a quick summary. On the left hand side is an equipment tree. It shows information on all the connected Anomalert units. On the right hand side it provides an overview of your equipment's status and their electrical values. The Spectrum page in Anomalert software shows the PSD plot or the Power Spectrum Density plot. From this plot mechanical faults are determined and derived. The various frequency bands are usually indicative of different mechanical problems. For example, the one under the cursor at the moment usually indicates issues with unbalance, misalignment, coupling or bearings. The report page of the Anomalert software generates an automatic report for the device selected. The left hand panel presents a summary of information on the unit being reported. The right hand side presents a summary of faults within the unit. The control tab allows you to directly interrogate and operate the Anomalert unit as if you were directly touching the front panel itself. All of the device's settings and parameters can be adjusted remotely. To demonstrate, the device will now introduce a turn fault into U phase. 
back on the overview page, it can be seen that the Anomalert software has detected the turn fault introduced earlier and has indicated this with a watch. Every 90 seconds, Anomalert calculates the parameters of the connected motor or generator and compares these values to its learnt model values. After some time, when statistical persistence criteria have been met, this watch warning will be elevated into an equipment status alarm. This will flag the anomaly in the top right hand window. On the trend tab, we can plot a trend line for the appropriate alarms. The plot shows a large rise in current imbalance at the time we introduced the turn fault into U phase. The display on the face of the Anomalert unit now indicates an alarm. This alarm can be seen in the top right hand window of the Anomalert software's overview tab and in the current faults window in the report tab. To find out more information on the Anomalert Motor Defect Simulator or Anomalert, please subscribe to this channel, email or call us.